If you look at history, at the heart of every great story that turned gold, it has one thing in common, a collective force of people from diverse spectrums of life. And what let them come together was the fact that every one of them was embraced, accepted and loved the way they were. We are a country that is the epitome of diversity, cutting across languages, dialect, gender, ethnicity, food or any other preference that you could think of. As a country that is gearing up to be a world leader, the next phase of our journey and the collective progress of our citizens will be aided by the openness to embrace and accept every individual the way they are, stay diverse and inclusive, thereby fostering a culture that encourages individuals to focus on what they would like to do and not anything else. Now today we feature one of the most admired insurance companies that have empathy at its heart and believe that it's time to move from tunnel vision and to adopt a bird's eye view when it comes to looking at diversity and inclusion. HDFC Ergo General Insurance is a leading insurance company in India with over two decades of services offering a complete range of general insurance products, be it health, motor, rural or commercial. Ever since its inception, its motto has been to grow with HDFC Ergo, both internal and external. Now, One Nation, One Opportunity, led by HDFC Ergo through Love All, is an initiative towards creating an inclusive workplace and nation. Today, we talk about one primary emotion, that is love, and a powerful three-letter word, all. Yes, today we are going to talk about Love All. To converse about Love All, we have two powerful women leaders from the corporate world who will help us unpack Love All and the role of the leaders and organizations to create a workplace that works for all. We have with us Anupriya Acharya, who is known to have challenged many unconscious biases to reach the global leadership position and is currently the CEO at Publicis Media South Asia. Thank you so much, Anupriya, for joining us. We also have with us Sudakshana Bhattacharya, the president and CHRO from HDFC Ergo General Insurance. It's an organization that is spearheading the inclusion movement in India, driven by one nation, one opportunity through Love All. Thank you so much, Anupriya. Thank you so much, Sudakshana, for joining me here today. So uh, let's kick off first with you, Anupriya. You know, tell us a little bit about your journey from Dehradun to Singapore, back to India. Tell us about that. Uh, well, in hindsight, everything looks gorgeous. Uh, but I must confirm and confess over here to you that my childhood was was wonderful. Um, you talked about Dehradun. It was an, uh, an idyllic town that mm. time and uh, very picturesque. Uh, it was a green valley. Everything moved slowly, unlike today. But somehow as part of my growing up, I always wanted to get out of that town, no matter how beautiful it was. And I wanted to explore the larger world. And that's what led to my choice of career. Mm. Uh, which is advertising, which was pretty uh, unconventional coming from a small town where everybody in our growing up years, we used to see they are either in government services right. or uh, of course it was Dehradun, so the Indian military academy is there, so a lot of people were in the army and the forces over there uh, and of course the people doing business and all of that, so corporate world was not known to me. Uh, and so I engineered my way somehow into uh, advertising, which was unconventional. And then, uh, you know, I got fortunate, got a break in Ogilvy. Uh, through my last now 30 years odd in advertising, I worked across Chennai, across uh, Delhi, across mm -hmm. Mumbai, Singapore, mm -hmm. like you pointed yeah. out, and then back to Mumbai. Mm -hmm. Uh, a lot of my formative year, years in advertising were all about uh, sort of getting to know the craft. Uh, so I think that was very interesting for me. Mm. And then of course came the senior years which were more around whether you can 
uh, have you have the risk taking ability are you going mm. to pick up assignments which nobody else is picking up and of course i mean i must say that now today i've been now doing leadership roles for the uh, last 18 years right and uh, now of course i i realize that even as a leader you keep growing every year and now my perspective mm. is more around how can we shape our organizations uh, for the better, industry for the better, and society at large for the better. And a lot of what we are going to talk about today mm. is in that direction. So that's been my journey so far. Very inspiring, Anupriya. Thank you for sharing that. Uh, but during this journey, what were some hurdles that you faced which might have been maybe unconsciously or subconsciously thrown in your way by the people that you met? So I think one of the things was that um, the small time upbringing really didn't come in, the, in, in my way. Uh, one of the things that I, I realized that came into my way as my, I entered into advertising was that uh, I was a science, uh, master's in science mm. and uh, so automatically like even without uh, much of uh, discussion I was allocated the media side of the business because oh, you are a science and math background you will be you know good yeah. at media and uh, of course it has turned out to be very good for me because media was booming at that yeah. point in time. So Sudakshana you know bringing you in on this point when we talk about diversity and inclusion DNI it's not just about gender parity or gender numbers so which is where I want you to come in and talk to us about this very unique diversity and inclusion movement that HDFC Ergo General Insurance is fronting called Love All so tell us a little bit about that and where you are seeing that making an impact it's an exciting time right now when we are actually uh, kind of uh, bringing everything together and mm. trying to harness the energy mm. or uh, or you know what's the theme it, across the globe at this point of time which is to create a uh, really an inclusive world so any form of um, uh, any step towards bringing people together uh, whether it's workplace or society at large uh, I, I think we are at the right time to do mm. that and that's what is really happening um, and then when HDFC Orgo uh, you know wanted to create an identity in the inclusion space we obviously went back went to our marketing department and we said we have a diversity council at HDFC Orgo which looks okay. at various dimensions of, mm -hmm. of diversity and our head of marketing is a is a core member of the diversity council so we went to him saying you know we need help from you and that's when uh, they reached out to our uh, agency on record and they said can we create something mm -hmm. some narrative around it and I think that's where uh, Laval was born the whole idea was that if you have to harness what's going on around the world about diversity not only gender but abilities thoughts skills exactly um, ideas suggestions how we look how we dress uh, you know all of that yeah. uh, then what could be one of the maybe the meta emotion on which we can hinge all of this uh, and then the next dimension got added saying that if we really have to create space to uh, for for everyone without um, conscious subconscious biases judgments mm. which is very normal we are human beings yeah. right but we ha if we feel love for everyone in equal proportion then mm. automatically we'll create space for everyone to find their space under the sun mm. and i think that was re that's really the philosophy with which love all is born and i'm so uh, grateful that you know we are here today talking about this uh, so when, then we said if this is all of it but it has to start somewhere we have mm. to give gravity to it mm. now how do we give gravity so it's HDFC Orgo it's an organization which is uh, which has taken steps like millions of other organizations towards uh, making diversity a core proposition you yeah. know within the organization so then we said okay so very organically we try to create a workplace that works for all so we said we will that's what we will stand for that mm. you know we're, we're doing love all to create a workplace that works for all and also the McKinsey survey uh, mm. has proven that when there is uh, you know different genders yep. when they represent an organization <coughs> the different perspectives so I think it's, it's phenomenal to be able to ha harness that similarly about abilities mm. uh, I mean you know it's a, it's a natural reflex to uh, uh, to find familiarity in people who look alike who you know who behave alike yeah. but what happens to people who look different than us mm -hmm. feel different than us, have different thought processes different ideas how do we as individuals mm. uh, also permit ourselves to create that space within us because yeah. that was a tram transformation of mind in a way right right so I, I think love all is all about that you know we do so much about creating brands and and workplaces you know who's successful but a lot of times all that success behind that a little this thoughtful movements little space that we create for yeah. everyone and, and and that's how people get aligned so I think it's it's a it's actually a lot of it coming together uh, but like I said the meta emotion is, uh, is love, is love.
and that's absolutely amazing what you said, Sudakshana. And one thing that I want to just add on to that, what you said, you know, so diversity, like you said, is from the mind, but inclusion is from the heart. And that's where love comes. So uh, I just want all, uh, both of you and me and the viewers to take a look at this beautiful film that's been made by HDFC Ogo uh, General Insurance on Love All. Let's take a look at the film. Why do fathers get fewer parental leaves? Why are women kept out of some roles and conversations? Does where I come from matter more than what I can achieve? Does my age matter more than my ideas? HDFC Ergo makes space for everyone to thrive. Wow, that really uh, brings home the message of what we're trying to talk about here. Uh, Anupriya, I just want to first get your thoughts on the film, and you've seen it. Uh, just your thoughts on it. It's a it's a very uh, timely film, mm. uh, and it's very topical. Uh, India, as a country, has always been very inclusive. If you look at the, uh, the how what our mm. history is and how we've embraced cultures and embraced. Uh, you know, different uh, beings and all of that. But in recent times, I mean, since this whole sort of uh, the social revolution started, uh, we find that the world is becoming at large, and, and that's true for uh, all markets, all countries. A lot of times, you know, an active form of creating films like this or having a conversation or talking about it uh, and spreading awareness about it uh, helps a lot because while it may be in your DNA, it is inside you, but the moment you talk about it, yeah. uh, immediately it sort of comes to the forefront uh, for you. So I think it's a, it's a great okay. film at the right time. A great, Anupriya. Thank you for sharing your take on that. Uh, Sudakshana, I just want you to come in also on this uh, beautiful film that uh, your team has made. Just give us your thoughts. Um, so Sumit, you know, first thing that struck me about the film was that uh, it's a sequence with a bunch of uh, men, but the voiceover is of a woman. And I think that's truly about inclusion because those men are feeling what a woman is going through when these conversations are happening and perhaps she's left out. And it's a very normal situation. So that was the first thing that struck me. At HDFC Ogo, we believe that uh, you know, the whole inclusion and diversity piece is not just gender or abilities. It's, it's really attacking the multiplicity um, uh, of, of the, uh, you know, the pillars of diversity. So it's about where people come from, uh, how do they speak, um, uh, you know, obviously the gender and abilities. And there's a beautiful uh, thing in the film where um, when the person is getting into the elevator and how people are creating space. And I think, um, I think that's what it is. Inclusion is all about creating space for all. But also, Sumit, another thing that I want to bring to your notice is that uh, probably we are the first uh, organization who's uh, made uh, a version of this film mm. which can be um, for people who are visually impaired. So each of the sequence is voiced over. That's very unique because you, you, you're right. I mean, we've never heard of these kind of films being made. So in fact, you know, uh, with both of your permission, I think for the viewers, we should watch the visually impaired version of this beautiful film. Let's take a look at that. A mother sits in a park with her newborn baby while her young son plays. She speaks to us in a man's voice. Why do fathers get fewer parental leaves? for an elevator. It opens and the crowd inside parts to make room for him. Wow, that, that really is what inclusion is about. So uh, hats off to your team, Sudakshana, for this.
Uh, Sudakshana, I'm holding with me these cards that your uh, team has uh, made that is just, you know, helping bring about conversations among people. So if you could tell us a little bit about these cards and also about other uh, things that are in the pipeline. So I think the cards are, um, you know, the perfect example of what happens when people feel uh, together and they come together to create something. I think the whole idea was when people are uh, near the water coolers having conversations during the work breaks and yeah. um, you know and just having an informal social gathering that's when they're relaxed and mm. that's when they're most receptive about concepts which don't necessarily interfere or influence them on a daily basis but they know that it's at the back and it can have an impact on the way they show up in the organization <laughs> yes. or like you rightly said how they show up in the communities and societies mm. So this, these uh, cards are conversation starters. And our whole idea is to uh, democratize this, in some, if I may use that word, uh, and, and, and distribute it across the organizations, whoever is mm. uh, you know, mm. championing inclusion and diversity. Yeah. And we would invite them uh, to come forward and, and you know, participate in this. It's a very, very easy tool. Yeah, and, exactly. um, and I must uh, here acknowledge the, the, the team which actually uh, from whom this came, it's, it's, a, it's, it's born out of people's minds. So I must uh, definitely mm. thank them for giving us this beautiful card. And there is a certain science and, uh, and, and an algorithm, algorithm mm. that works uh, towards uh, matching the questions with the answers. So. Uh, Anupriya, I want to bring you in now on how with Love All and with other campaigns that you might have seen, bringing out this importance of uh, diversity and inclusion out to the general public, making them accept it and adopt it. The fact is that the number of women passing out of school and colleges hmm. has increased over the last uh, couple of decades. Hmm. But the number of people joining the workforce uh, is, is not that many. It's actually declining, which is not a great place. Hmm. So it's not only about what programs uh, organizations are running. It's also important how we are shaping the society and their, and their minds. So what are all these people thinking when they're joining the workforce? Why is it okay for them to feel that, all right, at this point in time, I think I should be giving up or whatever. Mm. It's, okay, it's okay if mm. it's a choice. But, you know, if it's a compulsion because they feel this is how society is. So that's where I think the role of a lot of media comes into play. So we see that in recent times, we've seen a lot of movies around, around some of these topics, very good movies actually. And actually, I must say, as a practitioner and uh, driving an organization, a lot of things became clearer to me as well as part of that. And yeah. advertising is a step in that direction. Uh, Sudakshana, just wanting to talk to you a little bit more about Love All. Now, one I know, and you mentioned it to me earlier before the shoot is also, it's open source. So uh, wanting you to touch upon that. And the other thing, your uh, advice, how are you talking to our viewers? How do you guide our viewers that there are people who want to uh, take these steps, who want to live a Love All life, but are confused? What's the first step? What should they be doing? Just your thoughts on that. I have to first thank Anupriya for bringing that dimension about uh, the girls who are passing out of school but not really opting to take a career in the corporate world. So I think it's a, it's a very important insight about what's going on as a reality. And, and that, uh, that is an imperative to push organizations to create frameworks whereby what is a workplace that works for all? The workplace that works for all also should be inviting for women who are passing out today and is going to be a part of the uh, you know, young workforce tomorrow to choose corporate as a sector. So as corporates, through Laval, we also want to uh, speak to everyone who's at the positions of influence to say that we can we create as an industry, corporate, India Incorporation, as somebody who can uh, who is welcoming of these young girls and give them that framework to operate where they can balance these multiple roles that they are likely to to anchor in their you know in the future life. So the more and it's an open source, which means it's it's open to everyone to come and join this because the meta uh, emotion of love is in all of us, uh, and if we can just create a little. Uh, infrastructure around that to be able to deliver that emotion through our actions. Uh, I think that's really the the nudge that HDFC Yoga wants to um, uh, be a face of for Indian Corporation. Exactly, because that is so important. Anupriya, um, uh, in your conversations with other leaders, how are you talking about uh, bringing about inclusion of them in, in 
adopting, uh, explaining, uh, educating people about inclusion? How are you seeing that from that lens? I think one is about spreading the awareness that I find a lot of organizations, a lot of corporates are doing now. Uh, and as I said, awareness is the first step. Yeah. Uh, but that's not the only step. Hmm. Okay, then you have to move forward. So, for example, we have a, in our organization globally and locally a, a chapter which is called Viva Women, hmm. which is a women support network. And, 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 you know, you can discuss your challenges in work, outside of work and all of that. And then, of course, uh, beyond awareness, it's also about recruitment. How are you recruiting? So, do you, are you ensuring that there are no biases that are creeping in over there? So, do you have a formal mechanism to ensure that you remove all those biases? Hmm. But the most important thing, beyond and everything else is the way you act as an organization is the most important it's like parent uh, I'd like to talk a little about one of the very recent uh, very beautiful initiative that our global chief executive actually sort of started and it fits into very well in the space which is an initiative called work with cancer mm -hmm. and uh, it is open source so we get other organizations to sign in on that um, and so there are various initiatives within these organizations like, you know, ensuring that, of course, we mm -hmm. cover insurance and all that. But you can get up to a year off uh, if you are undergoing treatment, right. even for people who are taking for uh, care of somebody else in their family. So they, they get time off and, and things mm -hmm. like that just yes, to be so. more inclusive. So. HDFC Ergo has launched several major projects in India to improve diversity and promote inclusion. Project Shakti, Unleash the Power of Diversity, came into life with three objectives. Improve gender representation, build an inclusive performance culture and become a more gender-balanced organization. With 25% of women representatives and many specially abled employees across the organization, the brand is truly nurturing an equitable environment. Under Project Purple, the brand promotes the rights and well-being of specially abled employees. This program stands on building high-performance teams through a culture of inclusion by deploying four E's – employ, enable, engage and empower. Uh, so that's now what, in your thought, would you love to see in an inclusive workplace? How would you kind of envision this? You know, I think if it's a really inclusive work, there's a lot of things that are normalized. For mm. instance, normalizing uh, men taking day off, normalizing men taking parental leaves, normalizing men taking a break in their careers, uh, you know, to do pursue what they want to pursue. Uh, so one of the initiatives that HGFC Yogo does about welcoming people back after sabbatical is a gender-neutral initiative called Rewild. Wow. So it is more about, an, it's open to everyone. So uh, we are absolutely all right if people of any gender take break. So I just center it back again to say that if we feel that meta emotion love for all, irrespective of anything. Uh, it can truly motivate me as an individual and the millions of corporate leaders to truly take their small step and do their little bit to really create an inclusive workplace, a workplace that works for all, a society that works for. I know it's, it sounds utopian, so it's, it's not me alone. And I'm, today there are two of us talking. Yeah. I mean, of course, we would want to see that there are multiple other people talking about love all and joining the open source uh, movement and uh, doing their bit to create a uh, workplace, society and communities that uh, truly work for all. And I know these, these posters that you've put up in your office also with Braille uh, on that. And that's, I've started seeing that so often in elevators yes. where you'll have these elevators with one, two, three written, but you have the Braille symbol on it also. So again, just these yes. small steps that are uh, going the long way. Thank you, Sumit, for bringing that. And I want to spend just a minute sure. on that. Uh, you know, we, where, why did we create those Braille posters? I think the, the idea from our agency and our team was that they felt that if this has to go to the last mile, we have 700 plus locations in HDFC Yoga where employees work across the country. Now, if it has to go to the farthest branch, and if I, we have to create, we have to nudge the employees over there, and mm -hmm. if there is somebody mm -hmm. who is visually impaired, how will we connect to that person about our diversity yeah. and inclusion agenda. So it was all that it's, it's literally like, you know, writing on the wall that it is for everyone. Um, as we wrap up, Anupriya, just wanting you to share your last thoughts with us and then I'll come to you, Sudakshana. Well, I would say love all. Uh, it's well begun. Mm -hmm. um, I hope that there are many more such initiatives and mm -hmm. it inspires many other workplaces as well. Absolutely. Uh, Sudakshana, coming to you. I think one nation, one opportunity can truly happen when we start to feel one with everyone. You can manifest that in reality 
when we allow ourselves to love people without mm -hmm. subconscious or conscious biases. Um, and that's really what, that's the kind of world that we would like to see. Fantastic. Thank you so much, Dakshna, for your time. Thank you, Anupriya, for coming. Thank you so much for watching this special program, One Nation, One Opportunity, led by HDFC Ergo through Love All. Thank you so much for watching.